My name is Ryan Hampton. I used to use drugs every day, and now I don't, but a lot of people aren't as lucky as me. In this past year, I lost four of my closest friends to fatal drug overdoses, and I've decided to do something about it. I'm driving with my best friend Garrett to the Democratic National Convention, collecting stories along the way of people who have been most affected by the addiction epidemic plaguing our country to show that people can recover. San Francisco, California, a town synonymous with revolution and liberal ideals. San Francisco is a place where people have fought to be exactly who they want to be. For a long time as an active drug user, I felt I had to hide from the world, ashamed of the hellish cycle I was caught in. Ironically, when I began living in recovery, that sense of shame didn't disappear. I still felt as though I had to keep that part of my life a secret. With the negative perceptions surrounding addiction being so deeply ingrained in the broader community, even without drugs, I carried a sense of shame and secrecy. When I decided to come out as a person in sustained recovery, I was hit with an incredible amount of freedom. I felt a deep sense of pride and empowerment, being a person who is surviving a life-threatening disease one day at a time. This is exactly what San Francisco's Center for Open Recovery's main mission is, to end that stigma and promote an openness around recovery. Dennis Brown, former San Francisco 49er. Alcoholism is um, one of those diseases that, that wants to isolate you. Uh, it, it wants to get you in a dark room. Uh, it, it wants to kill you. It was ugly. You know, but it was all in the frame of what I did, and that was uh, professional football. It was part of it before games, it was part of it after games, and it took me a, a long time to realize that it was negative. I thought it was just part of the lifestyle that I was in, and it was, it was hard to, to, I think, to come out and, and, and let people know because I was, maybe I was a little bit of afraid. Totally embarrassed. The stigma is, you know, we walk out this building, is what we see. You know, we see homeless people, we see people in the train stations, and we see them high, we see them, you know, dirty. But I think if, if a lot of those people are given the opportunity to change their lives, I truly believe that they might do it. I'm Paula Williams, and I am a person in long term recovery. So on the outside, everything looked great. I had 25 years of marriage. I had a beautiful house in a fancy neighborhood in San Francisco. Um, I had all the things that people would probably, you know, kill to have, and yet it was, there was like some big missing piece inside me. But the disease and the alcohol and the drugs that I put inside my system blocked me from seeing that gift of what was right in front of me. And as soon as I found my way to recovery, everything seemed brighter and more just wonderful in all aspects. You know, it hasn't been easy, but it's just definitely a better way to live today than it was five and a half years ago. And I feel like as soon as I came to that realization that I'm an addict and I'm an alcoholic, I wanted to tell people about it. And I think that's because I've been kind of one of those agitators. I want to blow like the lid off to say, this is what recovery looks like. Being a, a football player and being, being a guy of my statue, it's always, even today, there's, there's, there's kids that look up to me. You know, we go into the prisons, we go into juvenile halls, and kids, young men, want to know what I have to say because they figure I played in the NFL that, you know, there's almost a godlike thing. And I would love to be that face in recovery. And I think there's a lot of folks out here, especially in San Francisco, who, who, who are dealing with this every day. And open recovery is open recovery. And it's, and it's okay to say, listen, I am in recovery. And that's what kind of got me psyched up about this organization, kind of what they do, is letting people know that it's open. You know, it's, the stigma doesn't have to be there anymore. You know, this is what it's about. It's about living a positive life. If 
we have enough courage to stand up and say this is what it looks like to be sober or in recovery and isn't this amazing, then I'm hoping that other people will see that there's only good that can come out of stepping forward and, and saying it.